Now at five, it was a race against time. State troopers here in Nebraska trying to do a relay of sorts to get vital medication to a patient in Colorado. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. With flights from Omaha to Denver not available that night, they did the next best thing, and now they're getting publicly acknowledged. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski has been following this story since May. Jake? You guys, the drug Impavito treats the brain-eating amoeba that is contracted when the parasite is in fresh water when people are typically swimming and the water enters the nose. It is rare but has a 97% risk of death. Troopers say they did all they could to get the job done. That's part of our job every day, you know, this one just happened to be unique and you know, possibly save a child's life. Trooper Tom Hicken remembers the evening of May 29th finally. The Omaha Division got a call from UNMC that Impavito needed to get to the Aurora Children's Hospital near Denver quickly. A storm in the area prevented a plane from getting out, so Lieutenant Matt Sutter coordinated a relay from Omaha to North Platte with six exchanges. Then it was flown to Colorado. Today, Governor Pete Ricketts honored the troopers with a letter of congratulations. Lieutenant Sutter, sir. Thank you very much. Congratulations, great work. It's just part of the job, you know. We don't we don't expect to get recognized. It was nice for him to to pull us all in together. That everyone that worked on this. In total, it took about five hours to complete the 500 mile trip. The drug's manufacturer said they tried 20 different ways to transport the drug, but this was the fastest. Governor Ricketts says it highlights the NSP's dedication to serving the public. They knew this was the right thing to do, that it was potentially a life or death situation. And so rather, rather than waiting for some sort of uh, bureaucratic uh, you know, holdup, he just got to work on it and said, we got to get this done and let's make it happen. Officials say the child was transported from Denver to Wyoming and may have been in hot springs when they feared the child contracted the bacteria. Troopers say... It was a unique way to have a lasting impact on a child and family's lives. If there's a chance that our actions here and now today could, could have that positive impact for years and years to come, then we've got to do what it takes to get the job done. And in the end, that child was not diagnosed with the brain-eating amoeba, but officials say they used the drug anyway to make sure it was treated quickly if it actually was that deadly infection. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski. 3 News Now. Great work by them. Thanks, Jake. A local elementary school is honoring the legacy of a revolution.